Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to make a quick video about the Nintendo Switch. Uh, kind of just set it up, spur of the moment, decided to just stand here, talk to you. Didn't make any notes, didn't script anything, I'm just going off the top of my head, so I'm kind of just winging it. So hopefully if I'm forgetting something or if I'm missing something, hopefully it's nothing <laughs> too important. But I'll just try to go over some of the, um, the main points and a few of my thoughts on it. So real quick. Nintendo Switch was revealed on January 12th on a live stream via, um, they were live from Japan, and uh, it's going to come out March 3rd of this year, so in about a month and a half, so really, 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 really close by. Uh, price is going to be $299.99 in North America. It's going to be this hybrid portable system that um, you hook up to your TV and you can take with you. It's going to come with this dock. It's going to come with uh, these two controllers called Joy-Cons that you can attach to a tablet, which is a 6.2 inch tablet, I believe, uh, 720p resolution. And the resolution when you dock it into the, the, the little dock to play on your TV will be 1080p. So these Joy-Cons are going to have HD rumble. So they kind of explained it uh, in the video where if you're holding it, you'll be able to feel the sensation of if there's like one uh, ice cube, two ice cubes, three ice cubes, even the feeling of water pouring into the glass. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's cool. Uh, me personally, I could do without rumble. When I play video games, I take off the rumble because it conserves uh, battery life. So the concept to me is cool, but I could kind of do without it but if developers uh can integrate it integrate it in a unique fun way then i'm all down for it uh they announced uh, some games um the uh, day one lineup is not something to salivate over it just has a few games off the top of my head um the zelda breath of the wild which looks amazing i'm not huge on zelda but i'm, I'm definitely gonna pick that up um, Bomberman R, I believe it's called, um, uh, Snipper Clips, I think, or something like that. I, it looks cool, but I don't know. And, um, One Two Switch, which is basically, let's be real, uh, a tech demo for the, for the system, which I don't have a problem with, but, uh, the price I do have a problem with. I think it's going to be 50 bucks. Um, the Bomberman R, I also kind of have an issue with, uh, it looks cool. But it doesn't look like it's worth 60 bucks. But hey, I don't make the prices. You know? um, so I really like the concept of the Nintendo Switch. I wish that Nintendo would have packed in uh, one two Switch with it. Because like I said, it's basically the Wii Sports, the Nintendo Land to the system. But I mean, I kind of know why they didn't. Because they did announce that they were not going to sell the Switch for a loss. So I'm pretty sure that... If they did, they would be taking a little bit of hit on uh, the system, on you know, on profit. So that's fine. Uh, they're finally transitioning to paid online services, which a lot of people are complaining about. But I honestly don't have an issue with it. Um, everybody does it. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. PC doesn't do it, which I'm really jealous about. But hey, um, Xbox does it. PlayStation does it. So, might as well. Uh, I know some people were complaining about the perk. At least one of the perks they announced is you're going to get like a free either NES or Super NES um, game for a month. And then after a month, you lose that game and you get another one. I get the gripe. I get why people would be a little annoyed by it. But just me personally, I think it's fine. When I pick up a game on the uh, virtual console. Honestly, I just play it for maybe a week or two and then I forget about it and it just sits there. So to me, this actually kind of works out because you know, I'll get the free game, I'll play the game for a week or two or whatever, and then when the next month rolls around, I get a new game. So for me, it's cool. I don't have an issue with it. Uh, something that I find that's cool is uh, you, get, like, you get two Joy-Cons with the system and each Joy-Con could be like an individual controller. 
It even has like shoulder buttons. So it kind of reminiscent of the Super Nintendo. So you, you do kind of get two controllers. Um, the Joy-Cons don't have a directional pad. So that could be an issue if you're playing games like Street Fighter. Um, so you'd have to pick up a, uh, a pro controller. Uh, a lot of people are griping about the cost of the accessories. And I'm actually, I, I actually have nothing to say about that in a positive way. Um, I'm right there with them. I think it's kind of ludicrous to pay $80 for two Joy-Cons. Uh, I think $70 for a pro controller. Uh, I think either 80 or 90 for uh, another dock, which is, I think is insane. But, you know, Nintendo's, they probably put a lot of R&D into the Joy-Cons because of the HD rumble and everything. So I'm sure they're trying to recoup their, uh, uh, their investment. So hopefully, um, eventually the price will go down. Um, I'm not messing with third party with, uh, controllers. I've had horrible experience throughout the years, so I'm just going to avoid it. Even if it's cheaper, I'll just wait for either for the Joy-Cons to be on sale or hopefully the price eventually go down. Um, the best way I could describe the Joy-Cons is like they're these little miniature versions of Wiimotes. They look kind of small. I have kind of big hands. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm willing to give it a try. I know they're bringing the Nintendo Switch on tour across the country. It's going to be here in Chicago on uh, February 19th, I believe. So I'm definitely planning to go check it out and try it firsthand. So I'm willing to keep my opinion subdued until I actually get a ch chance to, to play with the Joy-Cons. Mm, but I could see at least the cons and the pros to the Joy-Con. But um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, if I go and check it out, I'll make a, um, a thoughts, an initial thoughts video on it. So, And hopefully, I'll be able to take some videos either with this camera or uh, with my phone. So you guys can check it out. I'll, I'll you know make mash up something real quick or something so you guys can see it. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the price point. Um, I think it's fine. When the Xbox One came out, it was I think four ninety nine with the Connect. The PS Four was three ninety nine, and that I can recall, I didn't have a pack in game. So I mean that's that's fine. Three hundred dollars sounds about right. And if you really think about it. You're getting two systems, like I said, so you're you're getting the home console and you're getting the portable, just next gen. So if you really think about it, you're paying 150, 150, that's 300. So it's fine. I'm really excited about this uh, Nintendo Switch. I, I know that they're gonna have, uh, I think, some third party support. I'm not huge on third party games. Um, I'm, I'm mainly in it for like the first party games um, that I could think of. They announced like uh, FIFA, which I have absolutely no interest in. Uh, Skyrim, not really be too interested. Uh, NBA 2K18, you know, I used to like sports games. I still have some here in the back in case somebody wants to play, but you know, I don't really pump in annual dollars on the new version. So like I'm, I'm cool without, without sports games. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Um, I really want Nintendo to be a success. I really want them to nail this. Uh, I don't want them to go the Sega route, which goes, which they went third party. You know, Sega made a ton of mistakes in the mid to late nineties. And when they finally got something right with the Dreamcast, which is an amazing system, it really is. Even I still play it to this day and it's just... It's lovely. But by that point, it was too late. So I really hope that they can get this right, uh, generate a buzz, which I think they have because everybody and their mama is talking about the Switch right now. So I know they're going to sell out their initial shipment, um, but I just hope they keep the, the train going. Um, I'm going to pick one up. I'm actually going to pick up, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they're going to have a variation either a black and gray one or one with the joy cons one is i think neon red and one is neon blue which is nice it's cool but i'm gonna stick with the gray one and me personally like i want my symmetry so it bothers me that if 
you know, one end is one color and one end is the other color. I want it to match. And then uh, another part of it is the switch actually, from what I see, it looks really sleek. It looks like a, a legit modern piece of technology. You know, it looks really nice. And I, I just don't think it looks right. You know, having those two bright colors on the side uh, with this modern looking uh, piece of equipment, piece of technology. So if you want to pick up the, the, the bright red with blue, go for it, you know. But I'm going to stick with the boring old uh, gray. Um uh, that's pretty much it that I could think of right now, uh, at least the, the main bullet points that I could think of. So, uh, like I said, can't wait to try it. Can't wait to pick it up on day one. And um, hopefully you do too, because the game industry really needs Nintendo. Whether you love Nintendo or you hate Nintendo, Nintendo is the reason why we're all here. I'm sure a lot of people, you've heard this before, but without Nintendo... They'd be no nothing. So who knows where, where would be we be right now, what we would be doing uh, instead of playing video games. So I hope they succeed. I hope they nail this. So we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, I'll holler at y'all later. Hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or night, depending on what time you're watching this. And um, peace out.